I'm always talking about uh, quantum physics as of lately and God, physics of God and how they relate with each other and why it makes me spiritual and why um, why I believe in angels and in chakras you know and how it's absurd not to be spiritual but you know it's uh, <clears throat> I um, I would like to make a short video about it just a, a brief introduction how I tend to explain uh, why I am spiritual because I used to be uh, pretty much a big fan of Carl Jung with his uh, ideas about uh, uh, you know about uh, he was scratching the surface of spirituality and religion well not, not religion but believing and he said it was uh, he noticed that a lot of cultures uh, he noticed the similarities in a lot of cultures and a lot of religions and he says there must be something that unites all of this together there must be some force some power that unites all of this together and um, and then well he said it's it's very easy to um, to um, to believe in I made a short video about this it's very easy to believe in coincidence but it's actually actually this is quite a religion right believing <laughs> in a way it's quite a religion like atheism is quite a religion right because it, it because it blocks you from being open-minded that does it make you does that make it a religion I don't know but it blocks you from being open-minded and that's what people generally object about religions that it doesn't make people open-minded so that's where quantum physics comes in <clears throat> because Carl Jung he said um, it's very easy to believe in coincidence it doesn't take any effort but it's because we here in the West we have the luxury believing in coincidence is a luxury because we don't have to believe in in uh, we don't have to think why certain certain events happen in certain uh, in, a, in a specific order right we don't have to do that because we are safe and sound I'm here in, in, the, in the dark and nothing can happen to me everything is safe this is the safest country of them all but it's a western country and in the jungle you slip you die you forget to load your rifle you, you're, you I mean <clears throat> there's so many things where you can where you can die from so if you're not sharp and this is what I used to believe first is that your subconscious mind will create danger for you if you if you um, program your subconscious mind to create uh, well fortune or or bad luck or nah, fortune or not bad luck but fortune or um, or m misfortune then um, then and th those things uh, are going to play out because your subconscious mind controls your conscious mind and your mind creates your actions and your actions create your your, your situations but it's far more deep than that even though Carl Jung found a word for it synchronicity he said synchronicity is when uh, certain events happen in uh, a certain order that have no nothing to do S specific events that have nothing to do with each other happen in a specific order or or at the same time that ma that that makes them do something with each other have to do something with each other for example i bought this van it was a yellow van it's the color of the family of my father had a yellow van it i went to see my mother with it because i wanted to go to portugal with it 
to find a commune for my sick mother who had cancer. The van was from a guy, first owner, that died of cancer. And my first memories were of a yellow van that turned into a camper. We went all the way through Europe with it to Algeria. And I went all the way to Europe with it to Portugal. This is synchronicity. This is an example of synchronicity. But <clears throat> now that I believe in angels, synchronicity is a whole different meaning to it. A whole different meaning to what synchronicity really is now. Because I believe that now that my angels, and I want to make another video about that now. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about angels and then I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to talk about, about why I believe in angels the next time. But this video is about me not believing in in or kind of expanding my belief in the subconscious mind into something bigger. Right, so um, what this bigger thing is, is angels. I think angels communicate with us through synchronicity, through synchronous, synchronous events to create them. Because I'm the one that creates those things in my head by... Um, by noticing a yellow van when I'm scrolling on the internet, by noticing all these things, and by it gives me a specific feeling, a feeling that reminds me of good things. And when I listen to this feeling, when I go to the, when I go with the flow, I end up doing the things that I need to do, like going to Portugal, find out that living in communes is not for me, finding out that nature is for me, and that uh, I want to meditate and become even closer to those spirit spirit guiding that's uh, that's what it did for me and what that what that is I'm gonna talk about that later I don't believe in that I'm convinced and there are facts thanks for watching it's a bit of a long one but uh, I think is essential for my channel. Thanks for watching again. You want to see where I am? Yeah. Hmm. I'll make another small shot, a nice one. Very nice sunset. Well, actually, it's set by now. But yeah, the rainbow colors. I just had a pizza, but I just wanted to uh, to be in nature for a bit because uh, this is my last week here, <clears throat> and uh, I'm just done. I'm done. I want to go back to Amsterdam.